slump. What is a slump? A slump is an inclined surface or hill slump. Slope form is just the shape of the slope in cross section. Slope evolution is the development of slope over time. So how the slope changes throughout time. Slope processes are the activities along, acting along the slope. Okay, slope is as a system. Why is it called system? Because it has input, output, and process. So it is said to be an open system. So the input is from the energy from the sun, the mass is water and sediments. Output, uh, this is the energy, where the heat, uh, re radiated energy, okay, from the surface. The mass includes water, regolith. And the process which act upon the slope is mass movement, erosion, and weather. Okay, mass movement. These are different types of mass movement flow, slide, and fault. So these are all the trigger factors which can lead to mass movement. Internal factors, external factors, and human factors. Internal factors, or in other words, it is called endogenesis. These include the soil types, rock structure, slope types, and topography. Okay? So soil depends on the types of slope. The rock structure depend on the bedding plan, joints, types, types of rocks, hard rock, soft rock, topography or the relief. External factor or another word is, is known as exogenesis. This include the external factors such as climate, temperature, rainfall. So this can help weathering process to occur and increase pore pressure. So water infiltrate into the soil, so they can increase the blood, okay, due to increase rainfall. And also because of snow, can accumulate. Uh, and also it can increase the ground water. water. And the human factors, this include removal of the toe, so steep slope, building houses which increase the load or the weight of the slope, Road buildings, this is uh, undercutting of the, the slope. Pile up west at the foot of the slopes. And then removal of vegetation cover. So, mass movement occurs due to two factors, or we know known as safety factors. The first is the shear strength and shear stress. Shear strength is simply the pull of gravity. Okay, shear stress is pulling material down okay so a reduction in shear stress or resistance so this is the internal resistance of the slope itself and an increase in shear stress so the forces attempt to pull a mass down slope so these are the factors which can increase the shear stress and the shear strength okay factors increase the shear stress Example is removal of the lateral support through undercutting of the slope steepening. For example, erosion by rivers. Secondly, is removal of underlying support. For example, undercut by wave. This part here. Loading of a slope. For example, weight of water, vegetation, and accumulate of debris. That is the effort is this transient, transient stress which is the movement due to earthquake so movement of trees by wind lateral pressure this is example for when water freezing in the cracks so a factor which reduce the shear strength or resistance a changes of rock structure for example creating of cracks in a clay weathering so example is disintegration of granular rocks, changes in pore water level. So example the softening of material pressure, removal of vegetation which previously bound the soil. So means that the roots can okay, remove which bind the soil together. Burrowing of animals, decay of plant roots. Okay, so what is mass movement? and why they occur. So mass movement is actually when the slope 
failure occur. So when gravity acts to move the material down slope, and resistance of the slope is not strong enough. So it is classified according to types of movement, types of material, speed and water content. So if you look at this type of movement, so it can include falls, flows, heave and slides. Okay, what are fall? Falls are movement of rock, debris under the effect of gravity. Flows are movement of a mass or soil or rocks that contain significant amount of water. Heaves, cliffs are slow movement of material under up to the surface of the slope and down slope. Slides are the entire mass of material moving along a slip plan. Okay. So soil creep. So soil creep is the slowest downhill movement okay of soil with the rate of one cm less than one cm per year. It is a continuous process okay in humid climate and area with vegetation cover. So the causes is as a result of repetition process of expansion and contraction. Firstly is because of wet dry period. Another is the freeze action. So in the wet dry period what happened? Heavy rainfall, so moisture increase the slope, weight of the slope, so it expands, allowing regular to move down slope under the pull of gravity. So in subsequent dry period, the soil dries out, contract, especially clay. So another cause of the soil creep is the freeze action. So when the regular freezes, presence of ice crystal increase volume of the soil by 9%, as soil expand, particles are lifted at right angle, so slope uh, to the slope in the process called heave. And the ground, when later the ground melts or toes, regular contract. This particle fall back vertically under influence of gravity, so it moves down slope. Occurs in slope uh, of five degree, produce terrace, which is a step-like features, often twenty to thirty centimeter in height. Uh, develop as the vegetation is stretched and torn, often used by grazing animals, especially the sheep. sheep. So effect of soil creep, as you can see from the diagram, bending of the trees, uh, telegraph poles, terrace sets, soil which pile up behind the wall, uh, tension gas in the road, okay. Okay, so slides, rotational slides, okay, slides, different between slides and flows is that the flow, flows suffer internal derangement, derangement, while slide move as an in mass, entire mass, and not affected by internal derangement, okay, rocks that are jointed have bedding plants, roughly parallel to the angle of the slope are susceptible to landslide. Slide may be planar or rotational. A rotational slide uh, process known as slumping, a curved rupture surface is produced. Occur in homogeneous rock, but more likely where softer material, which is the clay or sand, overlies impermeable rocks, which is the limestone or granite. In a planar slide, the weathered rocks move down hill, leaving behind a flat rupture surface. Example of slides common in southern and eastern England. Okay, so rock falls. So rock fall is very rapid movement, spontaneous, and through relatively rare debris movement in the slope that exit 40 degree. How it occurs? This is result from external physical and chemical weathering in the mountains. Pressure re release, storm action of the sea cliff or earthquake. Material once broken from the surface either bounce or fall vertically to form scree okay, uh, at the foot of the slope. Okay, so flows. There are two types of flows, at flows and mud flows. So there are flows. So when regulate on 5 to 15 degree angle slope becomes saturated, it begins to flow downhill at the right of 1 to 15 km per year. The movement of material produces short flow tracks and small batch loops 
uh, which is a tongue-like structure okay so uh, not fast to break vegetation another types of flow is the mud flow more rapid movement occur in steeper slope which exceed one kilometer per hour example is nevada de ruiz erupted in colombia in 1985 with a speed of 40 km per hour with rich town armero so when occur a falling period of rainfalls of intense rainfall when both volume and weight of the uh, add to the soil give a higher water content than the earth flow